Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He is good. And His word endures forever. The word says that we are to consider it all joy when we come into various kinds of trials and, and tribulations. It says that, that, that Yeshua, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross. And I wonder, do we consider it joy when we endure and bear our cross? When we die daily, do we consider it joy? And another thought and question would be, what do we really consider joy? Or I should say, rather, uh, joy, where does our, our, our source of joy? Are we, uh, um, is our source of joy in the the day-to-day -day moments of the things that bring us happiness is that what we're are, are, are taking our joy from or where our joy is coming from is it in our uh, possessions our our treasures our position our or or, or the like um, because like brother ravenhill even says in his book Revival God's Way, uh, in the chapter of The Joy of Jesus, he makes mention that um, such sources of joy are, are really fleeting, and they're, they're variable, and, and they're passing. It's, it's not lasting. But, but Jesus says that he's, he gives us his joy, and that it may be filled in us, or fulfilled in us. And so... The joy of the Lord is supposed to be our strength, but yet I can speak for my own uh, self and my own walk. Um, joy, I find, is is very um, few and far between. And if I'm really honest with you all, uh, as I have looked back, some of the, the moments of the purest, true joy of the Lord that I've ever experienced have been... When, as Ravenhill puts it, these two conditions have been met, and, and I didn't connect the dots until uh, Brother Len had, had pointed them out, and that is in submission and service. When I have been submitted to the will of God, doing what he has um, asked, I have found that there has been the joy of the Lord. When I have been in obedience to what the Lord has put before me to do, the joy of the Lord has been there. When I have been, when I have not walked in that obedience, the peace and the joy of the Lord has not been there. And have, um, there have been, uh, you know, many times, uh, it's like Brother brother Len was, you know, he, he's, it's like he was talking about me when he said that he's seen many preachers who have, who have been preaching, and they've had such, uh, like, uh, like a joy uh, when, they've, when they've been preaching, and then an hour later, there's like gloom and, and misery, and, and, you know, just anger or, or whatever, what, what have you. And uh, I, I can't tell you how many times I've experienced that. Um, it wasn't the lasting joy of the Lord. And so, the joy of the Lord I don't even know what to say or how to put it into words. In our service, in our serving, 
are we joyful? Not a putting on a smile and so-called faking it till you make it. But do we truly have the joy of the Lord? Do we, for example, when called to fast and pray, do we consider it joy? Do we consider the joy that is set before us that even though we know that our bodies will more than will not like us for whatever lack of sleep or for whatever lack of food, that our body is not going to be rejoicing, our body is not going to be experiencing joy in those moments. But do we look in faith beyond and consider it all joy? Do we consider the, the laborious hours of, of interceding for God's people or for, for your family, what, whatever it may be, uh, do we consider that joy? Do we, are we joyful in our ministry to the saints and to, and to the Lord? I leave that question to, to you as I leave it to myself this, this morning in, in devotion time. Um, so with that, I, let's pray. Lord, thank you. Thank you for your word. Your word says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Your word says... Jesus, that you, that you have given us your joy. Lord, that it would be fulfilled in us. I pray, Lord, that you would meet us right where we are. And lift us up from where we are. Lord, that we would have a revelation in an understanding, in an apprehension, Lord, an abiding and an abounding in your joy. Thank you, Lord. And we consider it all joy. In Jesus' name, amen.